welcome to the Inappropriate Attire Podcast. Oh, oh, and this right. is my, my uh, partner, oh, Crab. Oh, Matthew McConaughey, hey, how are you? Oh. I'm all right, Mickey. How are you? Oh, I'm just fine, Matthew. Uh, I think this is the first time you've been a part of Walt well, Disney production. Do oh. you count the I'm always messing up the bits. Oh, well. Today, Inappropriate Attire is... We're sitting to take our show. Good one. <laughs> Matthew, you overstep your boundaries. All right, all right. Get that mouse trap. Okay, he's gone down. All right. Matthew's still here, apparently. Anyway. <laughs> guys, this is the fourth episode. Third. Fourth. Third. You're not counting the intro. Third. You're right. Oh, my gosh. Get it right. This is the third episode of the... This is the... Oh, you messed it up. This is the third episode of the Inappropriate Attire Podcast. And we are going to talk about... What we did this past week, what we're currently up to, we're going to also talk about um, the Women's March. And we want fake news. Fake news. Shut up, Will. I will throw a controller at you. And we're going to talk about. And we're going to talk about. What have you been up to this past week? Well, you know what? Continuing college, man, trying to get that degree going. Mm -hmm. Um, Been playing some Res 7 that Mm -hmm. you bought. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, man, it just seems pretty baller game, and uh, I have yet to play it. It's uh, it's uh, been uh, whew, it's it's been uh, the week from hell. Just kidding. It's it's been pretty rough though. But I got past it. It's my weekend, and it's time to game up. It's time to watch some. It's always fun. Sunny in Philadelphia up, and it's time to ugh, sadly study up. I hate going back to school. It's. It's not fun, Will. It's not that bad once it's, you get back into the groove. Maybe. I don't know. Working long shifts kind of screws me over. I to sleep and uh, get like two hours to myself each night. So it's like, hey, you want to play some Batman Return to Arkham or you want to go read your books for school? Yeah, I don't usually read my textbook like at all. I just kind of like I tell you, go I off my made notes. a hundred in a class without reading any textbook and or textbook. Text book and acing all the tests based on the teacher's notes. I think they know that we're lazy millennials and they want to And their reviews. Season. Like they put their most of the time they put like reviews online of like the material. I don't like I print it off and just like answer the questions and then just kinda like Ooh. use Google. Taking any online classes or no? No. I okay. haven't taken one yet. Yeah, I don't think that would be uh, the best kind of ideas. It's 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 a little it's not the greatest. Yeah, well, you know, um, stay in school or don't go back to school. When you're back in school, it sucks. And if you get out of school and then complain about your work and complain about not making enough money, um, it's not the government's to cater to you. That's not what the government's there for. Yeah, to take care of lazy millennials. Yeah, yeah. Lazy people in general. Yeah, it's the government's purpose to benefit other people. Uh, it's actually the government's. I just know if I get a job after college and I'm making fifty, sixty thousand dollars a year, I would want to pay thirty five percent taxes and to you know it's like eighteen grand. Yeah. It's like hey. Yeah, it's like hey, uh, almost uh hey. Oh, hey, oh, over like, a fourth of my income. Hey. It's like hey, you like driving on roads? I like driving on roads. Hey, you like not having people come in and break your car and stuff? Yeah. Well that's stuff I don't mind paying for, but the stuff that's like, oh, you gotta pay Planned Parenthood now. And you gotta pay all these different things. Play Parenthood, which started as a racist organization. There you go. It did. Also, how has your life been affected with the uh, incoming of Trump as president? How's that? Has it changed? I'm actually happy he's president. You know why? Why? So all these SJW retards <laughs> can finally. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We don't say <laughs> SJW. <laughs> We don't say the R word because it's not nice. Um, but raisins, it, is, it is fun. These things. raisins, yeah, yeah, those raisins. Raisins suck. Yeah, those raisins coming across our border, taking yeah. all, taking all the yeah. the raisins from from Arizona. No, Arizona. That wasn't shut bad. it. Shut it. It didn't. It didn't come out as expected. Okay, my bad. Kind of like my a bad. lot of things. Peace among worlds. Peace among worlds. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so my life with Trump has been the worst. You want to know why? Why? Because I've had to work so much longer hours, and I'm blaming it directly on him. Yep, 
because he's the president, even though he's been president for two days. I blame the government because it's the government's responsibility to make sure that I have easy money. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Those YouTubers that can just sit here and just talk on the microphone <laughs> and, you know, make thousands of dollars. Thousands of dollars. A video. A video. Uh, yeah, the Pootie Pies of the world. Pootie Pie. You want a Pootie Pie money? Yo, you I'd want... give anything to be Pootie Pie. You want Pootie Pie money? I'd be Pootie Pie in a second. You would be Pootie Pie and everyone's going to have to call you Mr. Pootie Pie. Yeah, because I'm making $50 million a week. You want to tell me the guy who's the most subscribed guy on YouTube doesn't make I'm that much? $15 million. I said 50 You said 50 a week. You're telling me that this guy... Is bringing in. Dude, you know what his house is? Are you telling me this guy is a billionaire? Oh, shut it. You're not. He's not making Yo, we'll, we'll look this up, like, right now, uh, on the air. Okay, fine. I'll prove that he's not a billionaire. Hey, you know he's not a billionaire? Because he's not a billionaire. Oh, I'm just, I'm just saying that if I'm, if I'm right and you're wrong, then guess who's buying lunch next week? Not me, because I'm broke as shit. <laughs> <laughs> Ten bucks this week. We got a two liter. We got a sandwich, uh, salad, and a uh, calzone. You're right. He's not a he's not a uh, billionaire, but you know what he is. Peace among the worlds. Well, he earned twelve million dollars uh, a couple peace, years ago. Peace among the world. I want to see what he made twenty seventeen. Peace among the world. Twenty sixteen. My peace bad. My bad. Peace among the world. Chill. We're done. We're done with that. But oh, he made earned one hundred twenty four million dollars last year. What is he? He might be. I don't know. Is he a Donald Trump's candidate? No, probably not. Okay, good. And in Sweden, they have a fifty-six percent tax bracket. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot. <laughs> well, very good. I Hillary am... Clinton's net worth is three hundred is thirty-one million. The PewDiePie's net worth is a hundred twenty-four. <laughs> PewDiePie is worth more than Hillary Clinton. Presidential candidate. Yep. The more boss. Hillary Clinton is the Green Bay Packers of political candidate. And Donald Trump is the Atlanta Falcons. The war high. My friend. The yeah, Atlanta Falcons are winning the Super Bowl. Oh, of course. Patriots got nothing. Tom Brady's offense is weak. Patriots had their time. We'll come back to the Super Bowl segment after the Super Bowl. You, you'll hear us. One day. I probably won't get to see it because I'll be working. No, I'll be sleeping after <laughs> working. I think I might go over uh, my sister's house and just kind of watch it over there. Uh, that's nice. Uh, get that big TV and we'll be. I'm going to go drive, you know, three hours north, go see my sister, watch it at her house, and no. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. No, let's, let's fake not news. do that. Fake news. <laughs> what you going to bring to the table about fake news? Well, Donald Trump recently got accused of, you know, hashtag gold showers gate. Which uh, CNN was like, this might be legitimate. Who knows? We're putting it out there for you, the people, to see. <laughs> and it's like, well, when you start that storm of mess going on, they're going to be like, oh, Trump had hookers peeing on him. Oh, oh horrible about this, too. <laughs> or was it one? One? Two? One. Two. Two? Two. two. I need to rewatch it. Okay. Back to the story. Back to the story. <laughs> um, after all this happened, Donald Trump calls out CNN at the press. The press conference he hadn't done for like three months, and he's like, "You're fake news. Get out of here. I'm not answering any of your questions." <laughs> he's like, "That's irresponsible, sir. That's irresponsible. I refuse. This news is huge." And then he called BuzzFeed garbage. BuzzFeed is garbage. BuzzFeed is garbage. garbage. They hate white people. They hate men, most of all. Oh, hey, you want to get crafty? You want to do some some uh, nice nachos? Go to go to BuzzFeed. You want reliable news? You don't go to BuzzFeed. <laughs> you go to BuzzFeed to see, like, people tried... People uh, tried cranberry vodka mixed with... with lemon lime spray. For the first time. Oh, this, oh. Is, this is good, I guess. That, it's like, um, you don't go there to see presidential coverage. You don't go there to see actual hardcore news. So how do you get to be a, from like, let's say if BuzzFeed was trying to go legit, how do you do that? They just fire like half their staff. Okay, how do you do that? Well, well, 
get more people who are more reliable and don't just like see something and get so emotionally consumed that they have to like, oh, we have to put this out now. JW. It's like the one thing the SJWs do have that I do like is passion. They're very passionate, but they put the passion in the wrong place. <laughs> now, what they should do, what they, what the, honestly, what the millennial era should do that pretty much runs BuzzFeed, um, should put that energy towards actually learning the truth and not just learning your little half truths or critical thinking instead of seeing this news and following it. Maybe instead of following BuzzFeed on Facebook, you. See what they share, check if it's credible or not. And Look at their articles. Do they have any sources? Are they cited? You know, uh, who are the sources they cited? You know, who does is, this source have credibility? Them? Is it just some chickadee saying, Oh my gosh, I can't believe that I have a new recipe on how to make banana nut bread. That's so crazy, but thank you, BuzzFeed. Is it some dude who keeps macking on hoes? Who's like, oh man, look at this BuzzFeed article. It's so hilarious, man. Or is it like any other person in the world saying anything good about BuzzFeed's articles? All the BuzzFeed articles I enjoy. Well, I don't even read BuzzFeed's articles. I'll watch their videos from time to time. I don't do that. Just, I, don't even, I don't even do it. I'm just scroll past, scroll past, scroll up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Is this relevant to you? No. Thank you, Facebook options. See, like, I just like to watch their videos. Like, Asians try American barbecue for the Whoa, first time. Not Korean barbecue, but American barbecue. But, you know, BuzzFeed's like, we're not racist. But then they got a channel called BuzzFeed Yellow with all the Asian people on it. That's a thing. BuzzFeed, like, uh... BuzzFeed Blue. There's, like, different colored BuzzFeeds, and they got, like, different parts of the world, I guess. And it's just like, I mean, that's segregation. But it's all under the BuzzFeed nationality. Of millennial garbage, of liberal garbage, of um, SJW garbage um, that says everyone should be treated the same even though we're not the same. It's like it's like saying, you know, take a like some person that grew up black, they grew up black neighborhood, they grew up black brown black people all their life, never seen a white person before. Okay, you take someone like that, and you take someone that's been around white people their whole life, raised around white people, you think you put those two people in the same room, they're going to act completely, act 100% the same. No. My point exactly. You should, you should treat them the same. You should treat, you should treat them like they're people. A person. You shouldn't disrespect them because they are different. No, but we don't need to ignore not. their differences. Yeah. That's that's wrong. That's just seems, that just seems ignorant. You can't be colorblind. Colorblind doesn't exist. Problematic, Will. Colorblindness doesn't exist. This is so problematic with their theories <laughs> and their thinking. Yes, of course. Did you get that at a thrift store? I got it at a thrift store, and it was on sale. I'm double responsible. I'm also helping the economy by spending some money at a thrift store. Nancy... Yeah, you know, I, I don't know if you saw that video, but it was like the the chick got picked up by a, a, a Uber, and like and like the guy had like a Hawaiian doll like on the dashboard, oh, and, he, and the, she's like, the, "You got that out of a thrift store because you thought it was a good buy." It's ironic, because you see them like that. No, because you're poor and you got to buy a at thrift stores. Yeah, because you got to objectify women through the misogynist world of cab driving that you got to <laughs> <laughs> off the continent of Hawaii. Off the- I love the continent of India. Have you have you been to that? It, it's it's in Asia. It's oof. you know the world of Asia. The world. Ooh. So what about there's the, enough people there? Ooh. You know, America has two worlds: North World and South World. Americas. Yep. Then you got Afro World. Afro World. Afro World. Um, what sort of races can we get there? <laughs> I'm not even gonna dignify that. Nappy for a world. Oh my gosh, no, no. Let's just throw this at you. Peace and worlds, sir. Peace and worlds. Um, but anyway, go, go 
Fake news. We're still on the topic of fake news, even if you got lost or on the way. Just no. enjoy the journey. It, it's like, in our town. In our town. There's been a lot of news about the crime rate going up and uh, ooh, ooh, a, lot of, like that? a lot of problems with that because a couple of people got, um, you know, guns pulled on them. And, uh, and the guy uh, was, there was a shooting. But, yep, um, armed robbery. But, like, it's a lie, isn't it? No, it's not a lie. The it's high just, crime rate. The, the high crime rate is a lie. But, well, right now, one good thing is that you've got several sources reporting on the information, so the perception of the crime rate has increased because you see it all over. I have, like, three people on my news feed, like, who shared this video. One of them was a police department. One of them was a neighboring police department. Another one was a concerned citizen who shared it. And it's all these people sharing it, like, for finding out who these people are. And, I mean, that's a great way to find out how people, who these, who the criminals are who did that. But it, my perception is if I didn't know what was going on, I wouldn't think, oh, it's got a higher crime rate, you know? That, to me, it's like, our perception is higher. And even on the articles from areas that just say, hey, we, we got a high crime rate. Uh, that's not 100% true. Like, the crime rate is increased, or you perceive the crime rate to be increased because there's more calls for service in the area. Because, one, it's a dual city. It's like Kansas City, Kansas, Kansas City, Missouri, you know, mm-hmm. right there. Exactly. So you have that, so they, that can be misconstrued because the two cities share comms networks. So it's like, hey, you had a hundred calls for service today, but let's say realistically it was 50 and 50. It's not that high. Like, that's just an example. It's way above that because people call over some petty stuff. Yeah, my someone stole my dog. Someone <laughs> stole my lawn chair. That, that was an actual call. Someone stole my lawn chair. I had a I had a lawn chair stolen. Did, did you see me call the cops? <laughs> no. You, you get people called over some petty stuff. Oh, a fight broke out. Okay. Was it really a fight? No. Uh, what happened? They got, they yelled at each other and left. Okay. <sighs> So well, I mean, that did escalate. Well, it didn't escalate, but I'm still saying, like, people are... I'm saying you can't... That's a crime. That's 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 third degree assault. Did you have fear that he was going to hate you? Yes! Oh. Okay, you can write that up as, like, a third... You can write that up that's assault on a person. If that person brought fear into your life, that's assault. Boom. Did you see the... Um, you get some petty stuff, and it's just not... Not worth it. The perception of crime rate is false, and the crime rate has been dropping steadily around here. While instances of gun, gun <coughs> crime, gun, trying to think of the right phrasing here. Gun violence. Gun violence, crimes with guns, has happened. I mean, it's not like, hey, there was two murders last year. You know, it's not like, hey, we got nine murders this year. I mean, also, there's, like, a big, like, meaning of, like, drug dealers and drug people that buy drugs here in the town. There's, like, a like a trade. Uh, there's, like, a big drug thing that goes on in this town. I mean, it's, it's like, hey. More than most. More than most, yes. I mean, we live in a drug-addicted area. But, you know, if they went under a, honestly, or more appropriate scale of, like, scaling back the criminal charges on drugs, then... But it's still crime. I mean, it's never going to go away. I just don't know... There's no reason for the war on drugs. I'm not going to say that, because there's a reason that you don't do some stuff, although their reasoning may not be 100% what it should be. Like, have you seen Narcos on Netflix? No, I'm not a, well, I'm not a huge can... uh, Narcos guy. Because, hey, American money is going to Cuba, to Pablo Escobar, and America is not getting any of the money. 
and that's a bad thing. So let's start the war on drugs to get the money going to Americans. You know what? If it was all legal, none of the money would be going there for illegal drugs because we'd be selling it. We'd make making a lot more money. Who wants medical heroin? Who wants like recreational are, heroin? Are you, so, so you're saying all like right. well, retail cigarettes? You can you can get spoons full of meth. I'm gonna say no to that. <laughs> but that's where we just that's where we part ways. See, I'm, I'm the true libertarian. I'm gonna say let's not do that. Only way it would be illegal is if you hurt somebody. Still think that you know marijuana. It it was passed in Arkansas. Medical. Medical, and I'm okay with that. Even. But then our attorney general just could turn around and say, "Yeah, it's done." Because our attorney, uh, because that's a state law, federal law oversees state laws. So if federal law says so, California, all these different states that legalize so marijuana, have to have like DEA agents around every area to do that. He said that he would send him to prison. Just saying, Obama. All those sick people laying in bed smoking weed. Anyway, recreational, full legalization, marijuana. I don't really have a problem. It's when you get to the other stuff like cocaine, heroin. What's wrong with a couple man. white people smoking up some cocaine? Do, do, do you want do you want crack baby basketball to be a thing? <laughs> Yo, I love crack baby basketball. <laughs> I personally don't want to see it. So what do you think about the women's? <laughs> Yo, march let me that just sick shots, bro. Well, I think uh, it was great that there was no <laughs> um, public like outburst <laughs> of violence. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> you have millions of people doing a positive <laughs> message that's going on, and uh, then you have other people. Protesting in a way that, uh, hey, you want to... So you're making right. No, well, I mean, hey, you want to go riot in a Starbucks? Throw some Molotov cocktails in a, in a you know, a yeah. window? You know what? Burn up, build, break some limousines? That is why your puppuccino from Starbucks is more expensive. That oh, that's why it costs fifty. That is why guac is extra. <laughs> because you millennials break things. Exactly. Don't like. But it, it had a lot of good things because, you know, on these, this is how you properly have protest, a protest. Or that's how you properly have your. Uh, and not full on anarchy. That's, that's how you have your voice heard. That's how you get your opinion stated. It's more legitimate. It is much more legitimate. Because even though if I I don't agree with the women's march hundred percent, I thought they brought some good. I thought some people brought good points, and then mm-hmm. I thought some people were just what whack did, job crazies. What did Madonna? Did she say like I thought about burning down the White House, blowing up the White House. She just said, imagine. but that would solve nothing. Just imagine Madonna on like a Boeing seven thirty seven, and instead of passengers, she's got like. Full on tax. Like a virgin. <laughs> like just thinking. blowing up the White House for the very first time. <laughs> like a virgin airlines. <laughs> Got some Muslims on my side. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Because she's on Virgin Airlines, she's got some Muslims on the plane. Yeah, got it, and I know that one of her songs is. I know one of her songs is like "Like a Virgin," but I'm just I don't know that. I don't know the song. I don't listen to it. Yeah, have you ever heard of Weird Al's uh, parody he did of? Uh, I know he did one like a surgeon, but I like have a I, surgeon. Have I heard it? Yeah. Have I really heard it? Cutting people open for the very first time. I, I don't really remember that song. Man, dude, you missed out. But I did go to his concert in town that one time. I should have went. I wanted to go so bad. I should have gone. Dude, how fun was that? It was amazing. Oh, my gosh. The, um, I needed to hear White and Nerdy, and that was his closing song. Yeah. Until he had that encore. And you know what it was? What? It was his Star Wars one. <laughs> 
dude. I think I got like third row seat, and he did splash water on me. I was like, ah! that was so cool, dude. That's awesome. He, he is, he is a true great performer. Yo, us nerds, it like this is like the big. It wasn't one. even like on the tour schedule. He just like rented out the Perot for one night. Dang, and dude. did it, bro. I spent that money. Me and my dad went. It was How expensive great. was it? It wasn't too expensive. It was like less than it was like eighty dollars for two tickets, maybe. Look, dang, I wanted to go so bad. I didn't know that, man. But I, uh, I got to see him, and he poured water, and it was amazing. I mean, dude. yeah, you can pour water anywhere, but it was like it got on my arm, and I was like, oh my god! It was even on my glasses for a while. Did he do what, like a surgeon? I don't remember. That's the one thing I can't remember is if he did that. He do um. What was some of the other ones? Uh, Locked in the Closet. Oh, wait, no. It was like in the, in the drive-thru. Do you do it in no, the drive-thru? because that's oh more my of an album. God. Do you want him to do an 11-minute song on stage? Yes! How about Albuquerque? You want him to do Albuquerque? Yes! Okay, I didn't know you were this big I of a love Albuquerque. Albuquerque! I didn't know you were this big of a Weird Al fan. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Back on uh, Women's March. Okay, yeah, back to the word. So we're my nerd rage out. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, weirdo. We should probably write him or tweet him. Ooh, you should know that he's on the season five of Comedy Bang Bang. I did see that. I, I, see, I like Weird Al when he's being Weird Al. I don't like Weird Al when he's being like... Weird Al know. is Weird Al is Weird Al. That's all you need to know. Weird Al is Weird Al being Weird Al on Comedy Bang Bang with Weird Al. Okay, maybe I should give it another chance. You should. Reggie Watts is amazing, too. Because that Zach Galifianakis on there, too? Oh, of course. It's like their first episode. Guest. Yeah, so, anyway, back to the Women's March. Back to the Women's March. <laughs> Not Weird Al Yankovic. Or Comedy Bang Bang with Scott Walkerman. <laughs> with Scott Aukerman, actually. But it's Bob Aukerman. Yeah, we got the uh, Comedy Bang Bang fan over here. Boom. Um, well, Ham's been on it a few times. He's my favorite. Anyway, you had Silver, Sarah Silverman speak. Sarah Silverman. Okay. She had a good speech. Okay. I like her, but her comedy's not the greatest, but I like her. Oh, uh, dude. It's, I mean, pretty, it's pretty funny. It, before she turned on SJW on people, like, she used to be, like... Before my, she went to her dramatic roles in movies. Like, all these recent movies she's been doing, I'm just like, oh, Okay. I like the one, uh, she did the Comedy Central roast of, like, somebody, I forgot who it was, but she was roasting on, uh, Jonah Hill, <laughs> and she was like, uh, uh, how, uh, Joe, not, who, oh, crap, who, Seth Rogen had to roll up a, uh, roll up a fatty, that's the only way they get, <laughs> that's the only way they get Jonah Hill on the stage. Yeah, I liked her on The League, like, she's, she's pretty good, like, I like her, as a like a person, as an actress, yeah. but I don't really know her show that well, which was on Comedy Central. I mean, she was pretty much saying like she started talking about feminist stuff, and I was just like, Ugh, okay, okay, um, maybe fight for gender equality rather than yeah, feminism and gender feminism. equality. And then you got this weird stuff like the Meninists group. Yeah, I think I think they try and seem like the victims too. It's like no one's the victim. No, you. I'm just like. I, I don't understand it. Now, I do I do think men's rights has more legitimate claims than women's, because well, they say how men have a higher um, suicide rate than women do, uh, because so much stress yeah. on the men. Mm-hmm. Um, they said there's stress on women, too, but obviously there's more on men nowadays than there, there has been before. Stress on both sides, man. I just fight for a, a way to... Egalitarian society. Yeah. Boom. But that's what it should be. But you know what it is? It's uh, people who feel like they're misogynized or or looked down upon or like this one YouTuber. I, I forgot his name because he's not relevant. Um, <laughs> you know, I just saw like one a bigger YouTuber talking about him, and uh, and he pretty much made a video saying that he compared black people to being Stephen Hawking and punching somebody. Like, if a white person, like, they say a black person can tell a white joke and a white person can t- can't tell a black joke. And they said, well, that's because Stephen, if Stephen Hawking punched a regular guy, uh, no one would care. But if a regular person punched Stephen Hawking. I'd, I'd care if Stephen Hawking punched a guy. Yeah. It'd be amazing. 
If someone punched Stephen Hawking, I'd be like, whoa, you can't punch him. Yeah, see, exactly. That was his point. Was like the black this guy was saying was that like like black people are equivalent to Stephen Hawking. And it's like that's not true. That's not true. We just had a black president for the past eight years. But that's not like that's like a disability. That's like saying your race is disabling. Yeah, they're not as good. Can my whiteness be disabling? Can I get jobs easier? Please, please tell me. Oh, I almost got a job at one place, and they hired a girl instead of me. Oh, um, and the team told me that I was all, I was perfectly perfect for the job. So, like, I, I yeah, I won't even get into mine because it's really personal, and I don't want to go down that deep dark road for a oh. while. Okay, yeah, but it's still, not fun. It's not fun when you feel like you are. Do not discriminate based solely on a characteristic that. Cannot be changed, such as race, gender, sexual, sexual orientation. orientation. Um, it's not right. Religion. Discrimination, any way, is not right. It's not I, legitimate. Yeah, I just don't get all that. You it's, can't judge somebody's character, but from what they action is totally acceptable. It's totally stupid, not justified at all. Scarlett Johansson had a great speech though at the women's rights. Uh, March or whatever. So it was more pertinent than Silverman, Dunham's, or I, Schumer. Did, did Dunham have a speech? Why wouldn't she? I mean, I don't think they actually like her. I don't think feminists actually like agree with Dunham. But it wouldn't surprise me if stupid third wave feminists believed the same thing Dunham did. I need to have abortions because otherwise I'm not. I can't stand up for women's rights if I haven't experienced it. If I haven't killed an infant, this innocent infant. It's not even born yet. And it's supposed to be in the safest place it's, it's supposed to be its entire life. That's going to be the most important thing to do in there. Because trust me, I remember that. Totally. No, I don't. Um, but yeah, I totally agree. Um, I think, uh, Sc Scarlett Johansson, I think, put on a really good speech, and she, uh, she showed why, you know, that move, the movement has some credibility. It's because she accepted Trump as president, which any normal person... So, this movement's now credible, and this is a credible movement, but say, Black Lives Matter isn't, because it, okay... Just, just making, just making this down. Black Lives Matter is not a um, it's, it's damn legitimate movement it's because damn they have killed people. Movement. Yeah, they have hurt people for being white. I think once you, once you go to destruction of life, property, businesses, businesses, for because they shot my friend. Oh, they I'm gonna blow up Starbucks. Blow up Starbucks. Oh, hey, you want to burn down the only convenience store in the neighborhood just to show that? Why do you get it? Just call Madonna. Get her her, her Virgin Virgin Mobile airline. Airline. Whatever. Yeah, she's she's going to drop y'all some care packages down. It's like like a Virgin Airlines. Yeah, like <laughs> like that CD. Like yeah, she'll just drop it. Oh. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Madonna, we don't want your mixtape though. No one wants her mixtape though. <laughs> it's hot though. <laughs> Yo, if anyone drops you a mixtape, you gotta just tell them it's hot. And then completely throw it in the fire because then yeah. you will be. Give them like ten dollars and they'll leave, they'll leave you alone. I, I do like that grandma's mixtape. Who was just like, man, I'm eight for eleven, and I'm here to say you ain't buy my mixtape. In the day, you can buy it on the street pedal. Go in the store. You ain't never know that you heard me before, cause I'm rap so good and I rap so hard. Rap so good that you never see it coming. Second verse, yeah. Second verse, yeah. Second I'm the grandpa and I love to get my knickers on, yeah. Yeah, pant is my knickers. Wait, give me, cuz your snickers. You be eating them too much, your hair come out. Got too much wax from that sugar overload. Oh. See, grandpa knows how to smoke the stick. <laughs> Paul, what's that in your pipe? <laughs> well, Sonny, it's called drizzle. <laughs> you learn about when you get older, boy. 
a good deal. Boy, 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 boy. Sorry, I'm just talking to my knickers. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Anyway, guys, this was a great episode. Great episode. Just remember, make good news sources credible. Make. Stop making stupid people famous. And what was that last one? Oh, to get a movement being legitimate, don't break stupid stuff. Peaceful and don't, protesting. And and truly it represent peace among worlds. Yeah, not just how we represent it. Yeah. Peace among worlds, Morty. Peace among worlds, Rick. Well, you will hear from us next week, whether you want to or not, because we will make these. Probably. Yeah, you probably won't watch either, but you know we'll uh, record it. We'll make it because because we, we like doing it. Well, one of us does. <laughs> See you guys later. Bye. Bye.